Now I want to go back and I want to talk about this kingdom of the beast. Everybody give the Lord a praise right here before we go on. Come on, I feel like doing that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, here's where it starts getting crazy. I'm telling you, this is amazing. This is, this is amazing to me. Daniel, in the book of Daniel, describes this Antichrist empire beast as just the fourth beast. He don't tell you nothing about it. He said, well, it's an ugly looking thing, got seven heads, ten horns. Never tells you nothing. John comes along on the Isle of Patmos, 750 to 800 years later, probably 750 years later, has a vision. Then tells you exactly what this thing looks like. And when you start breaking down the clues, I can tell you where he's coming from. Woo! Everybody ready? I stood on the stand, sand of the sea, saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns, ten crowns. Now, but horns represent authority, by the way. It's authority. It's a king. A horn is a king, a kingdom, or authority in the Bible. On his heads were names of blasphemy. The beast I saw was like a leopard, and that means the body's like a leopard. Get the, get the imagery. The body's like a leopard, feet are like a bear, mouth like a lion. Well, what a weird-looking creature. No, 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 because he's going back to Daniel 7. And he's giving you the imagery of three empires that Daniel saw. And let's look at them right now. First of all, who is the lion? The lion is the empire of Babylon, the Babylonian empire where Daniel was back in the time when he wrote the book of Daniel. And you can see the, on, on the, the map there all of that red area, which would be Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and it actually curves all the way up toward the edge of Palestine because remember the Babylonians took over Israel, didn't they? And I'm, I'm going to use the name Israel instead of Palestine because that's the modern term. It goes all the way toward Egypt. Now, the lion, he says, the, this beast has the mouth of a lion, right? Number two, he says, this beast has feet like a bear. Now, here's the bear empire. It came after the Babylonians, and it took up Persia, which is Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon. It goes all the way into northern Africa and up toward Turkey. Woo, it expanded, didn't it? Wait a minute, wait a minute now. But then he says, I saw the whole body of it that was like a leopard. The leopard came, empire came after the Medes and Persians. Now, remember, these are empires that ruled this territory we're looking at with kings, different kings. Alexander the Great was the head of Greece. He took over all the way of Afghanistan and Pakistan, all the way to the edge of India. Now, here's what's weird. Every, my, every time I get to this, man, my hair starts standing up. I'm serious. Every one of these empires I'm showing you, the Babylonian lion, the Media Persian bear, and the Grecian leopard, all of them ruled from Babylon, which is today Iraq, where we've had the war all these years. Everybody know who I'm talking about? They all ruled from Babylon. All three of them did. Now, that's a clue to something. <laughs> We're going to go somewhere in just a minute. Yes, we are. Here's the areas. I want to show you who the, where these areas are. Ready? All right. I got number four, guys. Let's show them. I'm going to show you the beast empire. It is the area of Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, edge of Saudi Arabia, uh, Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Libya. Hello. Basically, what I'm telling you is this, that this beast empire is a combination of three historic empires in the past that come united together under one man called the Antichrist. And every nation is Muslim except, look, let's go to the map here, Charlie. This is the better map. Look here. If I take the three empires of prophecy and combine them, they ruled Pakistan, radical Islam. Afghanistan, hello, radical Islam. Iran, hello, radical Islam. They also ruled the edge of some of these southern Russian states. They ruled Armenia. They ruled Turkey. They ruled Syria. They ruled Iraq. They ruled uh, uh, the air edge of Jordan. They ruled it, controlled Israel, Egypt, all the way to Sudan, Ethiopia. Everything you're looking at, here's what's so weird, in my opinion. You start looking at that, and it don't take you long to figure out one man's going to put all that together under one leadership. Mm. And the, the clue, the clue of the kingdom and what it's named has been in the Bible the whole time and everybody's just passed right by it. There's two chapters in the book of Revelation on it. You know what it's called? It's called Babylon. <gasps> Babylon don't exist. Thank you. It does not exist. There's been seven empires of Bible prophecy. That, that devil has seven heads on him. The dragon has seven heads. The seven empires, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Media Persia, Greece, Rome, the seventh empire that continues for 42 months. Are you listening? 
And the Bible says this, the beast that was is not, but shall ascend in the future. In John's day, this, this empire was dead. I hear preachers all the time, the Roman Empire is coming back and the Antichrist is going to rule from the EU. No, he's not. In John's day, the Roman Empire was ruling. He said this beast is one that was but is not. If it was the Roman Empire, he'd have told you it's the beast that was then. Preach on, Perry. Some of you are going to get this. Huh? Are you getting it? Let me give you another one. In the book of Revelation, it says, this, it says the, the beast had a deadly wound to one of its heads and the wound was healed. All these, all these novels, they have the shooting Antichrist in the head and he gets resurrected again. And that has caused more misunderstanding of that verse. The, the, the Discovery Channel came to my office and they said, we're going to do a teaching on the Antichrist and you're one of the five preachers they've asked us to interview. I said, good, bring your cameras. And they got to this part about the beast, the Antichrist. They said, now the Antichrist is going to be shot in the head, right? I said, no. They said, we just interviewed four preachers that told us. For more information about the ministry of Perry Stone, we invite you to visit our website at perrystone.org where you can receive other resource materials and products, learn about partnership, upcoming events and conferences, and much, much more.